Yeah, that's about right, my dude. Not to sound like General Shepard, but 10 years ago, I fell in love with Modern Warfare 2. But damn, does that game vex me. If I was to make my own perfect COD game, it would look pretty damn similar to Modern Warfare 2. And I think that's what people were hoping for with Modern Warfare when it was revealed. So how does it compare? Well, like I said, Modern Warfare 2 was an aggravating game. This new Modern Warfare is about, uh, well, literal death might just be more fun. So yeah, MW2 is the Chad Big Brother, while Modern Warfare is obviously inspired by the Chad. I mean, just look at the streaks, the nuke, the loud as heck harriers, the big boy Pavlo, yeah, just the streaks in general, blue and red tiger camos and such. Infinity Ward obviously tried to capture some of those MW2 feels, but at the same time, I think they kind of missed the mark a little bit. A, a large, a large bit. I do want to say that I don't want this video to just seem like I'm shitting on Modern Warfare because that's not the case, although the past two days it's like fun doesn't exist on this game. Either I am just dog, like I'm a complete mongoloid at this game, or skill-based matchmaking is kicking my ass, or maybe even both. In Modern Warfare, they have made it better with recent updates, but even then, if you breathe, you know when you breathe and your like nostrils expand? Yeah, that's moving too much. This game does not want you to move. It has been talked about to death, but it's still a major point that this game just punishes moving and aggressive playstyles too much. And yes, Modern Warfare 2 was a slower paced, campier game, but even then, you know, you, it allowed you to do anything and everything, playstyle wise. If you want to be an annoying waste cadet, sniper, sitting in literal long grass, you can do so, but at the same time, if you want to switch it up with all dumbness and be a rushing aggressive in your face intervention or Barrett sniper, Modern Warfare 2 allows you to be both. If you want to rush around with a UMP, you can. If you want to just play that general role of an assault rifle player, push and pulling and, you know, switching your pace at, at an instance, Modern Warfare 2 allows you to do so. And I'm not saying every playstyle is impossible in Modern Warfare, it's just the variety isn't, it just isn't there. The only playstyle I can play in Modern Warfare is spawn in, try and run to the action, then get caught off by someone leaning, you know, boys don't don't get caught leaning, I will then respawn, try and get back to the action again, get blown into the next dimension by a claymore, then a 725 is going to rupture my skull, that's, and that's literally every match. Now, to be positive, Modern Warfare does stuff better than Modern Warfare 2. Ground War, the progression system, uh, Crossplay, no season pass, constant updates, uh, yeah. Which is why it has great potential. By the way, the game also looks and sounds amazing. If we could perform uh, transplant surgery on the new Modern Warfare and give it MW2's playstyle and MW2's maps, it could just be up there on the mountaintop or in discussion for the best COD games ever. That might be controversial despite everything said, but I think the game just does so much right, but it's missing the elevation that it needs. Now about maps, Modern Warfare 2 maps, essentially perfect, and why would you not want perfect maps in your COD game? You know, 16 maps of top tier quality versus what do we have now, 11 maps for normal 10v10 and 6v6, it's a no-brainer, right? That would give the game the elevation it needs. And that, I think, might be one of the most, the biggest thing that separates Modern Warfare 2 from many other COD games, or older CODs versus some newer CODs, is the quality and quantity and variety of maps, because damn are they everything. So fellas, to summarize it up for you, Modern Warfare is a couple of weeks old, Modern Warfare 2 is now a decade old. So Modern Warfare 2 did so much great and that's why it is iconic. However, it did those things 10 years ago compared to, compared to now, and I think it's quite obviously inspired by Modern Warfare 2 and obviously COD 4 as well, 
but it's just, I think some of the marks were missed by Infinity Ward, and that's kind of not cool. So, lads, stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.